Today's lesson, titled Healing the World, is one of a continuing group about healing from, living through, and living after the coronavirus. These lessons are from public writings and public speeches of various religious people from various faiths. They're from Jewish, Christian, Buddhist, as well as public non-Christian people, but speaking on religious topics. Um, in addition to the, those public people, the Lord and I add other writings to it. We work toward healing first as individuals, then as families, and finally as one body together. That solidarity in purpose must be carried over from healing to other tasks. Solidarity is the key to emerging from the crisis better than before. All humanity has its common origin in God. We dwell together in our common home, a garden planet where God has placed us, and we have a common destination in Christ. But when we forget this, our interdependence becomes dependence of some on others, increasing inequality and marginalization. It weakens the social fabric and the environment deteriorates. The word solidarity may seem a little worn and it is poorly understood. Solidarity is more than a few sporadic acts of generosity. Rather, solidarity involves creating a mindset which thinks in terms of the community and the priority of the lives of all over the appropriation of goods by a few. More than that, solidarity is a matter of justice. A healthy and fruitful interdependence needs strong roots in the humanity and nature created by God. It needs respect for faces and for the land. We reflect on the biblical account of the Tower of Babel. When humanity tries to reach to heaven while ignoring our relationship with each other, creation and the Creator, we wind up unifying languages and constructing skyscrapers. But we destroy community and mortify cultural wealth in the process. Another unfortunate result is that we instrumentalize others as a workforce rather than building up a community. When shares fall in the financial markets, all the agencies report that news. Yet, when thousands of people fall due to hunger and die, no one talks ever about that. Pentecost is the answer and the antithesis of Babel. Descending upon the community, the Spirit creates unity in diversity. He creates harmony. With Pentecost, God makes himself present and inspires the faith of the community, united in diversity and in solidarity. Diversity ensures the community is imbued with antibodies, which remind the community that each person is unique and protects it from the danger of individualism and selfishness. Solidarity is the road to take towards a post-COVID world, towards the healing of our interpersonal and social sicknesses. There is no other path. Finally, we encourage everyone 
to let your solidarity be guided by faith, so that what we might translate the love of God for our brothers and sisters to build communities that promote healthy growth. We invite everyone to ask yourselves, do I think about others? In the midst of crises and tempests, the Lord calls to us and invites us to reawaken and activate this solidarity capable of giving solidity, support and meaning to these hours in which everything seems wrecked. Build up your solidity, strengthen your solidarity within your personal communities so that as all emerge from their COVID shells and hovels, they will find a new, bright and healthy world with a vibrant faith life, all supporting and supportive of one another's faith perspectives, regardless of what they might be. No longer the intolerance of the old world. No more the hate or incessant suspicion of the right wing of everyone. All that is gone in the healing found in this solidarity of the new post-COVID world. Pray that it be so. <laughs>